the key cornerstone of our remote learning plan is to connect with students and to try to to continue those connections that we have in our classroom and providing instruction to meet the individual needs of kids remotely. And today, this is our effort to continue to try to do that as best we can. And with that, Superintendent of Schools, Bruce Gearing. You know, I was looking at that slide that Corey put up there, and that was so uh, pre-BCV, I think is what we have to call it, before coronavirus, that, that handshake and, and all that personal contact and now I find myself sitting all day long in front of this computer talking to a machine and uh, it just doesn't feel right so I'm certainly hopeful that very soon we'll be over the worst of this and that this doesn't drag on for months to come um, because I really do believe in connections and relationships and that is the most important thing and we want to be sure that we continue that with our students and with our faculty and and with our families as we as we work through these challenges. These are absolutely unprecedented times. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And uh, we're having to be innovative and creative and invent ourselves every morning when we wake up to make sure that we get through the challenges that face us each day. So I am thrilled with the work that Leander ISD is doing. The team has stepped up to the plate. You're going to hear from some of our folks today about the incredible work that's going on to make sure that we stay connected to our students, make sure that we are meeting basic needs across the board, um, and that we are creating a sense of belonging, even though we're not able to be in the same room as each other. Bruce, we're going to ask a couple of questions. Obviously, last night was a big night. We had a special called meeting of our school board. Bruce, you want to give um, people who might not have um, been able to catch up on all the news. What were the action steps of the board? And then let's have Dr. Bentz and our teaching and learning team um, give some more details about um, the work that went into making the proposal that the board eventually approved. So last night at the board meeting, um, we did three things, essentially. Uh, the first thing we did was um, consider uh, the fact that our employees have been on emergency services right now in the last two weeks. And what that means is that we, when we first closed school, we didn't exactly understand what that meant. Um, and so we said, we do need to pay all of our employees and the board did a great job in approving a resolution to allow us to do that. Starting on April 6th, the board approved last night that all employees will return to work, but remotely. Um, so they won't be at, work in person in our buildings, but they will certainly be uh, working uh, from Zoom meetings, uh, doing things remotely via uh, digital means um, and, uh, you know, on lots of Zoom calls. The second thing that we did was consider GPA and uh, class rank calculations and how we're going to deal with those going forward as we move into phase two of our learning plan. Um, and I'm going to allow Matt Benz and Steve Clark to expand on that in a little bit after this. And the last thing that the board approved last night um, was just a, an amendment to the big resolution that we took a couple of weeks ago, um, delegating authority to the superintendent to make decisions should the board not be able to meet for some reason. Um, but just making sure that any waivers that we approve during this process, that we take those back to the board for ratification um, as soon as possible after they've been made. Thank you.